now a victim of a robbery, turns the table and shoots his attacker. Yeah, it happened this morning near 42nd and Franklin Road in Lawrence. Newsday's Elizabeth Choi has more on how it all went down. Elizabeth. Mike, Phil, this isn't a story with a happy ending. Both the victim and suspect wound up shot. But the ending could have been much worse if it weren't for the victim's quick thinking and bold reaction. It's around 8 o'clock in the morning, a busy area, and there are surveillance cameras surrounding the building. The suspect, 18-year-old Derek Hart, must have missed those things. I mean, it's pathetic because there are so many jobs out here. Surveillance video shows the victim drive past. He goes behind the shopping plaza, parks his vehicle, and waits for a particular store to open. Less than 15 minutes later, video shows the same car speeding off. What it doesn't show is Hart allegedly get inside the victim's car. The robbery victim said, I don't have any money, but he all, at, at the same time, he noticed that there was some type of an armored courier vehicle that was sitting here at the ATMs at the nearby Chase Bank. The video shows the armored vehicle and its driver at an ATM. According to Lawrence Police Department's Deputy Chief Gary Woodruff, the victim tried to drive toward the armored vehicle to safety. That gave enough of a distraction that the suspect, the uh, robbery victim, was able to grab the gun and fight over the gun right inside of the car while he's driving across the parking lot here. The victim ended up crashing into fencing near the bank. It was a minor crash, but what happened next was major. Both the victim and suspect got out of the vehicle. Woodruff says the victim pulled out his own gun and a battle began on the busy road. There were two Lawrence police officers that were sitting right up the street heard the exchange of gunfire, responded immediately, and were able to make an immediate arrest at the scene. Which comes as a relief to locals, but not completely. It's sad that people have to resort like it's the Wild West days. The victim was shot in the arm. He was treated and released from the hospital. Hart was shot at least two times. At last check, he was in serious condition at Eskenazi Hospital. He's expected to recover. Hart was also wanted on federal warrants and now faces several other charges. We'll have those listed on our website. He'll be transported to jail after being released from the hospital. In the studio, Elizabeth Choi, Wish TV, News 8.